What's up YouTube, Born to Phil here and you're watching BTP Gaming. Uh, today we're going to do a let's play of Prison Architect. It's a prison management sim, much like Prison Tycoon and stuff, only, well in my opinion, a lot better. Uh, it's been out for three years now, it's had an update and alpha every month, it has now hit its 36th month. So the devs have announced that the next couple of weeks the update that comes out will be bringing it into version 1, which is great news. Uh, they still got loads of wee things that they want to do, loads of wee tweaks, so they're no way done. They just want to bring it in, out of alpha. Um, if you haven't already picked it up, I recommend you do so. It's just, it's not that dear on Steam, and it's a fantastic little game. So uh, we'll get into it, and we'll go into create a new prison. So our plot of land will go with large, because I feel small's too small, and medium you're in out of space too quick. So large we'll go with, large I can deal with. It's better having too much land than not enough. Fog of War will turn on, because if you don't have a guard or a CCTV camera in an area, then you don't know what the prisoner's up to, which can be quite fun. Uh, generate forests, we will leave on, basically it puts forests on the land, so it's more of a natural look when you get there. You have to destroy the, the forests to build a prison. Generate Lake will leave off for now. Uh, it might be something we put into a later playthrough, but not this one. It's an experimental stage just now, so it could break a save. Um, generate buildings basically puts empty buildings on the land that you can knock down or use for your own purposes. I don't really like that, uh, it just doesn't feel like something I'd do. If I was buying a plot of land, I'd buy it empty. Uh, failure conditions will leave on, uh, as if your prison gets a bad rep for too many escapes, riots, murders, stuff like that. You get the sack, and I don't want to get the shack. So, we're not going to do that, we're going to leave it on though. Gangs is basically if gangs from the outside world meet a rival gang inside your prison, they can get into a fight and stuff. Uh, quite handy, I'll put, I'll put that on. It's quite fun when somebody gets shanked in a shower and it kicks off a gang fight. Um, events will leave on, that's fires, floods, and any of your natural stuff that occurs. Unlimited funding will leave off because I don't want it to be too sandboxy. So, let's get into it. So this is a plot of land here. Uh, quite big, I mean it doesn't look big when you zoom out, but it's a hell of a lot of squares in there. Uh, the wee truck that's coming in has got all our happy little workers. So, yeah, look at this smile, the wee face, he's all coming to work for me. <laughs> right, um, up the top right we've got a clock that lets us know the time of day. Um, this box under the clock says shower just now, that is determined what the prisoners should be up to that time of day, because we do get to make a schedule and tell them when they can eat, shit and sleep. Underneath we've got play, double time, triple time, and pause. Pause is very handy, because um, in a game like this where you've got to do a lot of planning and construction, it's good to pause the game and then you can decide what you're going to do and then your, your wee minions will go and do it for you once you push play again. <clears throat> if any of you have played like nine, um, Nemoria, Dwarf Fortress, um, Game of Dwarfs, or the new one that's just came out this year, Stonehearth, um, you kind of know what I mean with that with that feature that you need to be able to pause it to work out what you're going to do because time flies too quick. Um, up the top left we have notifications. It's basically telling us there's going to be 8 prisoners arriving at 8am which is 23 hours and 93 minutes away. Two of them are going to be minimum security which is not that bad and six are normal. Eh, we can handle that. I mean a couple of basic cells will do that. Um, down the bottom we have foundations for our buildings, materials for like building walls, floors and stuff like that. Rooms is basically a designation area. Um, you mark it down like office, cook garbage, um, deliveries like just up here. Uh, objects, well speaks for itself, just the objects you put in a room. Staff is high on your staff like you new know, um, guards, workers, cooks, warden, stuff like that. Utilities is quite a strange fun wee feature. It is much like doing the, the electricity and plumbing in the old SimCity games where you have to put in your own plumbing, your own <coughs> your own electrical wire and stuff like that. Deployment we don't actually have right now, we need to research that. Same with logistics and intelligence. Emergency is handy, we've got three. We've got firemen, riot guard and paramedics. Basically we can call 911 and get them in. Clone is basically clone in a room, so we can like symmetry it, but we need to research that. And planning lets us plan out 
in white boxes. So say we went to Pathen, we could do that. And then it would show up in white. Nobody builds it, it's just there. So I know that's what I want to do in the future. Down the bottom right, we have Shakedown, Lockdown and Bang Up. Then we have the reports, which is basically your staff, your prisoners, your intake, your jobs, your needs, your regime, which is your prisoners' regime, policies, grants, which is loans, programs. So if you've got a low-risk prisoner, you can actually put them into the laundry room, which cuts down in laundry, um, cuts down in staff costing. You can also put them in a workshop, so you can earn money out of them. Finances and valuation, which is your record. So. Up the top, we've got day one, £30,000 in the bank, and 84, um, 840 is going to be your daily cash income. So let's get started. So we'll leave our delivery areas and our garbage area just now, because we don't really need it that big to start with. We might need to expand it later on, but just now we won't. We'll just leave it. Um, we're going to put a wall around it, though. So we'll go into foundations, and we'll go to brick wall. I don't really like the concrete wall, it just looks like a grey box, so we'll put the brick wall out. I like the brick wall a wee bit more, it's a wee bit more, um, it just looks nicer in general. So 9 by 9, I, th I think it was 9 long, wasn't it? Yep, 9 metres long, 9 metres long, yep. So then we'll go into rooms, no objects, sorry, and we'll go to doors, we'll just put a normal door on these two because we don't need to lock up the room with the garbage and the stuff in it like that. We'll just put that door there just now till we get rid of that tree. Um, we will start a room for where the warden's going to be. In fact, we'll just go to materials and get a brick wall. Run it along here because I like to know where I'm going to be. So then I'll get a foundations, brick wall. We'll run it right along, right in front of the path and it'll be this will be like our offices and stuff, so one, two, three, wall, one, two, three, wall, and then one, two, for a corridor, wall, there we go. So what we'll do is we'll put it in a play and let them get on with that because they take their time if you've got it in just normal play, so we'll let them do that while we plan out the rest of our uh, the rest of our building. Uh, this playthrough will be a weekend thing, it's going to be a casual weekend. Uh, we will possibly do playthroughs for like Dwarf Fortress, um, Nemoria, stuff like that alongside this. Um, it will be a slow episode this one as we're just getting started and we're just laying out the start of our prison. Um, once we get a few prisoners in it'll pick up and hopefully we'll get a few shankins and a wee riot or something and liven this place up a bit. So we'll go into this, we'll go into another door and we'll rotate it, we'll put it there just so the workers don't get trapped in that room when they decide to build it. Um, we will also go to doors and we'll put one directly there on that one because we're going to make that a wee corridor along there and this is into our next room. We won't do the room just now because if I do that it will take away that wall and make it one big room. So we're going to planning for it. So we'll plan a wall. We'll do it the same length but we'll make this like cells. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that should be enough for ourselves. We'll turn maybe a holding area on one side and um, we'll see what happens. So one, two, so wall, one, two, three, wall, one, two, yeah. So we'll make prison cells. So one, two, three. Yeah, I think it's going to work out just fine. And then that comes along here, and that's one there, and that's one, and then one, two, three, well, one, two, three. Yeah, we've sorted this out properly. Ah, that's lucky. That's very lucky, because usually I don't get it that well. So, we'll do this. We'll run that along. Well, we won't run it right along. So we've got one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. We've got eight cells to start off um, our prisoners in. We will build a holding area in here somewhere so we can just take them out and escort them right in. Uh, that might not be a good idea actually. Uh, no, that's definitely what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do because I can't. I don't want to have the holding cells in with the cells. I want the cells separate from the holding cells. Um, what I could do actually, in fact, what we will do is we'll turn one of these into a holding cell one of them into the canteen and then we'll have the jail cells behind it, that's what we'll do that's what we'll do, so this will be the holding cell and that will be the the canteen so we've got a materials brick wall we'll build a brick wall along there and a brick wall along there we've got any rooms no, nope, objects, doors Um, we'll have a normal door and a canteen but we're going to have a jail door and it'll be here and that'll be the holding area then we're going to objects doors, it'll be a staff only door because we don't want the prisoners getting out of this one we'll put that there, why can't we do that? oh because there's trees there uh, we've got a foundation, brick because we need to turn this into a room now and we'll see how that works I don't know if it's a good idea to have double brick but I don't want I don't think my, my people in their offices will want to hear prisoners crying all day. That they're lonely. One, two, three, and the wall. One, two, three, wall. And that's the corridor, right, okay. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. So, ah, uh, do you know what I could do? I could do this. One, two, Three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that's what I could do. One, two. We'll make it too long. One, two, three, there. Two, one, two, three. Right, I'll do that. It's not quite perfect, but I would rather it was like that. No, not like that. Like that. Yeah. Why does that look bigger? One, two, one, two, three. Ah, that's why, because that's one shot. There we go. We're learning, we're learning. Right. So, up here, it's a four offices. So, up here, we're going to have security. Oh, not there. We're going to have a security room. And we're going to have a power room. So what we'll do is we're going to objects, doors. We'll put the office doors in just now so we know where they're going to be. And then we'll put a door here because that's going to be there and a door there. We're going to have objects, utilities, sorry. We've got a power generator in here. And we've got a pump. In fact, we'll just make this whole room up and we'll put security elsewhere, so we'll do that and we'll put that in there so that gives us water and power and then we'll see what happens with that Ooh. yeah, you and your wee high vis vest, put that door in right, we'll speed up time here because they are being a wee bit slow for us um, we have 20 hours until our first prisoners arrive. So what we'll do is we'll make the place. Yay, we have power! Power! We have more power! Right. Okay. So we have a reboot. But what we'll do is we'll pause it just now because that's another delivery uh, garbage truck turned up. So what we'll do is we'll go into rooms, office, and we'll designate a 3x3 three three for each office. Oh, oh it's a 4x4. Four no, don't do this to me. Okay, 4x4 four four it is. Right, my bad people, my bad. So, demolish walls for that whole section. And objects, demolish objects. There, 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 there. Right. We messed up. We messed up big time. So we're going to utilities while they're doing that. We'll run the power cable in. 
into the main hallway and along. And what we'll do is with the main pipe, with the power put, oh, we need power, we need, we'll put it there. So the, the generator goes to the power, the pump. We'll run the pump out, run into the main hallway. So the main hallway is now generating power and it's also getting water. What we'll do is we'll get a capacitor which basically makes our generator generate more power. So we'll do that on there. Um, no much else we can do on utilities. So we'll come out of that and then um, we'll go to materials and we'll put a stone path in because even although our prison's not finished yet, we kind of want it to look good, don't we? We want it to we want it to shine, we just want to let it shine. What I'm going to do is we've got staff and we'll just hire. How much is it for a worker? £100 a day so we can hire another. We'll have four. Five. We'll go with five. So we've got five more workers so that should speed things up a little bit. Um, we might want to get a garden at some point once we... Yeah, what was I going to do there? Yeah. That wasn't meant to be a generator room. Yeah, it was. I've now lost what I was going to do. Right, we're going to turn this into half canteen, half holding air, that's right. So we'll do this. We'll go brick wall. We'll go canteen on that side. And holding area on that side. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. So we've missed one down that's there and there. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Ah, it's just not going to be big enough for that. Um, can we have a four? One, two, three, four there. One, two, one, two, three, four there. Yeah, we can do that. And we'll have one, two, three, four. No, I've confused myself now. Um, what we'll do is we'll have the wall here. So one. No, we need to go up to the top. So one, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four. Right, we'll do it that way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wall. Wall. No. Stop! 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 I've confused myself now. I've. I think I've made the room too small. Right, one, two, three, four, whoa. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, right, hold on. We'll clear this room and then we'll redo it properly. It's the only thing I can think because I've messed up. I've messed it up, man. I've messed it up. Well, we're doing that. We'll go into rooms. We'll put a, ki um, a canteen and a kitchen in. So canteen can be here. The kitchen can be here. Right, so objects. The canteen needs a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. So we'll get a cooker. Where's a cooker? Cooker, 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 cooker. Cooker, sink, and a fridge. Right, and the canteen needs a serving table, table, and bench. So we'll get a serving table. We'll rotate that because I don't think that's right. Oh no, it's, so it's there. So, serving table. No, we'll put the serving table in the middle. Is that right? Right. Serving table. There. And then we'll get a bench. In fact, we'll get, we'll rotate it and we'll fit two benches in. One. Two. We'll move that one against the wall. We'll put that against the wall. Chair. How big is a bench? Where's a bench? Bench. Bench. That is a bench. Where's a table? Oh. Okay. So we'll only have one. For now. We'll worry about that later. In fact, we will get two in. I shall make sure of it. Table. Why did they set that weird angle with a table? Uh, do you know what we'll do? We'll put that up against the wall. 
Hey, you move, dismantle that. Yeah, you rascal. Right, we'll go to utilities because we need to get the water and the power in here before all these wee guys decide to turn up. And when they turn up, they turn up because they don't care. They just rally their cell in a room. Right, there we go. I've right, only got 16 hours. Right, that's the holding area, so room. Uh, holding area, holding. Yeah, holding cell. And that needs a toilet and a bench. Ah, is that where I've went wrong? So, bench. One. Two. Three. We don't know how many people we're going to have in that room. Sometimes it gets quite crowded. Um, and we need a toilet. And we'll put two toilets right beside each other. And the utilities. We'll get pipes in because the, pipe, the toilets will need pipes. We'll bring them in here to get the lights in that room done. Uh, why is the kitchen stink still need water? Haven't I filled it? No, apparently not. Does that fix you? We shall see. Hey, right, I think we just need to sort this office a bit out. So what we'll do is we'll go one, two, three, four. So office one, two, three, four. Can we make that one wall? One, two, three, four. No. Aye. One, two, three, four. If I start here, right? One, two, three, four. Start here. One, two, three, four. Do I really need this to be offices right now? I can do a couple offices. One, two, three, four. So we'll just put the two offices, the two main offices in here just now. And what we'll do is we'll expand it back the way and make the corridors and make it loop it up and then we'll expand that out. Because I've made a right mess of it. It's got utilities, we've we'll got the piping, we'll run that out. And same with electricals. I think there's only electrical I need out there, but you never know when I need to put a toilet out there. You never know, man. You never know. So we're going to demolish wall. Demolish that. Going to objects. Demolish object. We'll get rid of this door and we're going to move it to this bit here. Yeah, little man, get working. Right, so we're going to get a brick wall. One, two, three, four. So here. We'll just make it there. Uh, we'll get doors. Objects. Doors. We need two. So we'll put them beside each other. And that's in the office. That'll be Warden's office. He is the one I really need, and then I'll get the Chief Security. And then that way, at least, I'm in, and I've got the stuff I need to get him. Because you need the Warden, and you need the Chief of Security, uh, the Chief Guard guy. You need Warden, Chief. The Foreman can wait. Psychologist can wait. Lawyer, and okay. So as long as I get them two in just now, we're alright. Uh, doctors and that will get in later on as well. Uh, we need a table and a bench in there, so we'll get table. We're going to just stick it right up against the wall on both. And I'll get a bench in. Oh no, that's not going to work. What we'll do is we'll put a table there. And a table over there. No, that's not going to work either. So put it there and we'll put it right against the door. Right. And then we'll put the chair in. And I'll put a chair in. I could make it one table for two, but I'm going to expand that kitchen. I need to make the kitchen bigger. And then what we'll do is we'll make the kitchen bigger. Well, the canteen bigger. We'll make the kitchen bigger. And we'll put a back door with a path going round to here. So they can just get the stuff in straight away. Rather than going through all the prison to get there. Um, yep, 14 hours. What we'll do is we'll put it in double time. We get plenty of time before the guys get here, so here we go. We do need to, in fact, we'll keep it in double time, not triple time. Sorry. Um, we'll go to foundations, build a brick room, 
And we're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. So about there. It does. I've probably messed that up. Yeah, okay, I can't do that. So, hold on a second. So it'll be one, no, one, two, three, wall. One, two, three, wall. And then you start so with three by three, and then it's one, two, three, wall. One, two, and then wall, and then one, two, three, wall. Uh, I don't know if I messed it up there. I don't know if I messed it up there when I jiggled it, but we'll see. We'll just we'll pause it and quickly check. So, going to planning, wall. So, one, two, three, wall. One, two, wall. One, two, three. Yeah. So it should be there. So what is we're going to materials? Uh, demolish wall. Here, we'll cancel it. Right. No, we're cancelling it. Right. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to build brick wall. We're going to go there. To there. And down. That should be it. Hopefully I've fixed it and I've not just done another blunder of it. And we're going to double time. We'll take that away and objects and we'll go to secure door or oh, no not secure door jail door we'll put that right there do you know what we need we need uh, loads and loads of people we've actually went all this way so once we've now so now we're here we're going to have to expand but you can see how much land we've still got we've got hundreds and hundreds of land still but you can also see how small would be too small and then normal you fill up quickly because we've already took a good chunk of that up. Why is the canteen not working? There are no prisoners assigned to you. Oh, well, we know that. There's no prisoners here. So, let's see what's going on. Right. We will go to materials. Grass will fix us up. Yep. We'll fix this bit up. Yep. And then we'll go to stone paving and fix this bit up. Yep. And in here, we want wooden floors. Yeah, we do. Oh, money. Is that what we're saying? We're saying we don't have enough money. Insufficient funds. Okay, okay, okay. Stop telling me bad stuff. I don't want to know bad stuff. I only want to know good stuff. Right, we'll get brick walls. And we'll go one, two, three, wall. One, two, three, wall. Then it's this one, and it's one, two, three, whoa, one, two, three, whoa, yay. Look at that, what? One, two, no, one, two, three, whoa, and I've got a three passageway. Nice. I did something right for a change. Yay, that's right. Oh, insufficient funds. Uh oh. Um, okay, we'll speed it up, we'll get more money. Maybe I should have built concrete. Is concrete cheaper? No, concrete's not cheaper. I've just been wasting money on everything else. Did it do? Did it do? Why you got plumbing issues? Okay, we need to move a tile over there. Yeah, there we go. We've got plenty and plenty and plenty of people on the way. I think that'll be good for episode one. Um, sorry, it's been quite a slow episode. I did say it would be. Um, Next episode we'll definitely get some prisoners in and we'll get some action and uh, see if we can't cause a wee fight or two. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Ciao.